What's up, guys? It's your boy Just Reflect back with another video. You was getting a little late, so bam. That's why you always gotta have a sunroof, right? Ain't car with no roof, ain't got no. Gotta get sunroof. All right, so it's your boy Just Reflect. So today, this week, it's only sun. It's only Tuesday, man. It's only Tuesday. It's only Tuesday. About to head to the. You know where I'm going. The gym. All right. Um. Anyway, so uh, this week, I just started, started this weekend. This weekend has just been like just rough. Like there's something wrong, um, and um, I kind of like when when things get hard in life. I've learned that. That must be either there's a change coming that I that that is trying to prepare me for. There's a change coming that's trying to prepare me for, or the blessing coming that I'm trying to, that, that that I need to, you know, that I need to work through to get to. Um, so I take. Um, Hardships with, you know, a a grain of salt. So hardships and things like that. Like, so I got some family issues, some work-related issues, and things like that that are happening right now. Um, and then, like, I just see some things that's in my personal life that I see kind of just slipping away from me. Um, and I just um, like, like, like searching for answers, searching for answers. And you know, thing when my mama say, "Boy, you gotta just pray about it." Gotta pray about it. Like, yeah, mom, but you know, I gotta pray, but I gotta, I gotta, you know, sometimes, you know, when I, I say this, so sometimes you don't do anything and just let things happen. But a lot of times people will pray for things and have the answer and then don't do anything, right? Because they think that that's not the answer that they were, but it is the answer. It's just like it's not going to be as easy as you know what you thought God or who if you believe in God thought it was going to be kind of like the parable because that's kind of what today's you know message is going to be about kind of like that per the parable of the uh, of the uh, uh, man is uh, his, uh, his town was flooding um, and uh, everybody told everybody in the town Everybody in the town, they told everybody in the town to evacuate, get out, it's flooding. He's like, no, it's okay. God, you know, God's got me, he'll save my life. I'm like, all right, cool. That's a lot of faith, bro. faith, brother. Town floods out, he's on the roof, sitting on his roof. Boat comes by, small boat comes by. Not enough really in the room. Guy says, hey man, hop on, there's enough, I got a little bit of room save you from this flood right he's like nah god got me i'll be all right so the boat goes off then another boat comes around and uh i says hey man the bigger boat he's like with enough room you can sit in there and comfortable get away say, hey man get on board the water's still rising <sighs> get on board he's like nah i'm all right god's got me Eventually he drowns and dies. He goes to heaven. He goes to talk to Jesus, angels. He's like, hey man. He's like, I have faith in you guys that you guys were gonna save my life. He's like, we did. We sent you a warning to get out and three boats and you didn't listen. So, not every miracle or blessing is going to be big. All right, small, it's gonna be something small. Sometimes it's gonna be small, insignificant, but you're gonna, uh, it is the blessing that you, it's the gift that you've been asking for. So sometimes, you know, a lot of people think that, you know, God or whoever it speaks in like loud, he's on a megaphone. He's like, I am this and here is your blessing. No, no, a lot of times it's not that. A lot of times it's a whisper, and he just wants you to shut up and listen. 
right? Just a whisper, right? And he's telling you something in your ear and you're just, you know, waiting for that megaphone and you hear the whisper, but you're like, no, that can't be it. You know, so that's how I take like hardships. You gotta you find the, the blessing in it. Another thing is like, you know, just, you know, stress. Everybody in life is stressed out. Everybody in life has certain stressors and based on their level of experience and what they've experienced, how much stress they can handle, all right? So my level of stress may be different from your level of stress is different from somebody else's level of stress, right? Uh, high school students stress about an assignment or a test or something like that, whereas a college student is stressed about, you know, graduating college or stressed about uh, starting new, getting into the, the actual life of living, owning their first apartment. Maybe a parent is stressed about their first child uh, being born and things like that. Somebody's stressed about bills. Somebody's stressed about what they're gonna feed their children. Uh, there's different levels of stress and that level of stress of feeding your children versus a test in high school, all right, they may be insignificant to each other, but at this, but the people that are experiencing them are experiencing the same level of stress because that's what their highest level of stress is, right? So that's why I say everything, everything is relative as far as stress. I, and I like to tell people when they're stressed out this parable because I kind of like, I, you know, it's got self-talk, so I talk to myself. So when I'm talking to you guys, I'm talking to myself too. Um, a, a little girl was crying um, about something that was stressing her out. And her father was, uh, her father was, um, was like, sit, had to sit on the counter, like, what's wrong, you know, what's wrong? And she's like, she told him what was stressing her out. And he's like, so he's like, all right, all right, watch this. So he grabbed an egg, he grabbed some coffee, and he grabbed a raw potato, right? He grabbed these three things and then he started boiling water, right? He started boiling water. And he boiled the water up to a certain temperature, temperature the same. He said, he tapped his little girl, baby girl, grab the potato. He said, here, take this potato. How's it feel? She's like, it's hard, it's tough. He's like, yeah, throw it on the ground. It barely breaks up. It's, it's, it, it can take some damage. Uh, nothing really can do anything. It's solid, right? And then he takes it in the boiling water and boils it for a while, takes it out, lets it cool off, of course. And he says, now what is it? She's like, it's mushy, it's nothing. He can't take anything. It's it's lost its um, its consistency. It's, it's mashed potatoes. There's no, can't, can't withstand anything. You take it on the ground, it's splattered, loses its everything. Then he takes the same boiling water and puts an egg in it. And she's like, he's like, all right, take this egg. All right grab it touch it she's like it's hard on the outside but like if i drop it on the ground it shatters it's nothing so yeah he's like so he put the egg in the boiling water put the egg in the boiling water lets it boil takes the egg out lets it cool off tells it to grab it he's like now what she's like oh it's gotten stronger it's got some consistency to it if i drop it on the ground it barely breaks or it just it gets nicks in it but it can withstand a drop it has some strength to it now. Then he takes the coffee, coffee beans, right? Coffee beans. And he's like, what is it? She's like, it's nothing, it's bean. It's a brown thing, it's nothing. It's, it's hard, it can withstand things. You, can, you have to crush it to really get something out of it. It's really nothing, it's worthless, it's worthless. So he takes the coffee beans and he boy puts them in the boiling water. And over time, the coffee starts to, you know, boil and he starts to smell the aroma he takes it out pours her you know gets a cup of coffee he's like now what is a coffee she's like oh it smells so good she's like it tastes good uh it, you know it's it's soothing you know it warms you it, you know it gives me energy he's like oh yeah. he's, like, he's, like, he's like so what did we learn from this everything went through the same stressor 
everybody goes through the same stress that boiling water is stress of life but it's really how you handle it is really the result of who you are the egg the coffee bean and the boiling water all with the same level of stress that boiling water but they all came out differently based on their character so that's how you got to live with how you got to handle your stress your character has to be strong enough my character has to be strong enough to handle the stresses of what's around me in order so I can come out stronger and not fold to what's going on around me so that's my message to you guys right you gotta build your character have a good you know somebody you can talk to or, or somebody you can that will listen to you um, find a way to de-stress go read a book go to the gym work out um, have some alone time with yourself find ways to build up your character so that you can handle the stresses of life that boiling water that's all i got for you it's your boy justin fletch i'll catch you in the next one i'm out peace